I'm Donna Brogan. I'm a practicing dental hygienist and a former faculty member at the University of Oklahoma Dental Hygiene Program. Despite the fact that it's largely preventable, caries remains a chronic prevalent disease in our children and our adults. The American Academy of Pediatric Dentists estimates that 60% of children will have decay before their fifth birthday. A Cochrane review came out in 2013 and reported a 37% reduction in decay in baby teeth and a 43% reduction in adolescent teeth when fluoride varnish was applied. Recent studies show that our older patients are a caries active group and they are getting decay at a rate at least that as quickly as our adolescent patients. The widespread use of evidence-based risk factors for prevention and treatment of caries has increased the use of fluoride varnish in our practice. Well, John, thank you for coming in today and thank you for filling out the waiting room assessment form. After your exam today, I can confirm you have five areas where you have exposed root surfaces. And like we discussed, the exposed root surfaces are at a greater risk of getting decay than your enamel is. So I'm going to suggest that we do a fluoride varnish application on you twice a year and that's going to help you prevent getting any cavities on those exposed root surfaces and it's going to help combat the fact that you're losing some of your saliva to your medication. Now that's going to be $23 and I will turn it into your insurance company and it really depends. Some insurance companies pay and some insurance companies do not. But I know how much you dislike having cavities and I know it's worth it to you. Can we go ahead and do that today? Sounds good. Wonderful. For free support tools such as waiting room displays, social media promotions, and for caries risk assessment forms, or if you want more information on how to conduct evidence-based risk assessment in your office, you can go to centrixdental.com. Approved by the FDA for treatment of dentinal sensitivity, Floridose contains 5% sodium fluoride in a convenient single-use lolly pack. Each unit contains one dose of Floridose plus one Benda brush applicator. It comes in five flavors that are well received by children and adults alike. Simply peel back the cover, dip in the brush, mix, and you're ready to apply. Notice that Floridose doesn't have any of that stringiness that you may have seen with your other fluoride varnishes. Fluoride varnish really is easiest to apply face to face, whether you're sitting face to face or standing face to face with your patient. So have your patient swallow very well open and look slightly down. I'm going to fill my applicator brush with a Floridose and I'm going to swipe it along the lingual arch. Then I ask my patient to look straight ahead. I retract the left cheek. I refill my applicator brush and I swipe across the maxillary arch on the left, swipe across the mandibular arch on the left. I then retract the right cheek, reload my brush, Give it a nice swipe across the maxillary arch, reload, swipe across the mandibular arch. I then have my patient open wide and look slightly up, and I do the same for the maxillary lingual. It's important that you don't get too worked up about painting each individual tooth. Fluoridose has capillary action, and the fluoride is going to chase into any areas where there's moisture, so it's going to go interproximally without you painting it interproximally. Just give it a nice swipe across all of the surfaces and the capillary action will carry it into all the little areas that you don't cover. Prevention is always less expensive than treatment. A fluoride varnish may cost between $15 and $30 depending on where you live, whereas an implant may cost as much as $10,000. Fluoridose is an award-winning fluoride varnish year after year and it's also one of the least expensive unit dose varnishes on the market. How often is the least expensive also the best? 